Hello, my name is Father Hampton Davis. I'm the pastor of the Church of Our Lady Queen of Peace here in Lafayette. I'm coming to you from the diocesan offices to speak about my experience as a pilot pastor in a pilot parish for the diocese's centennial campaign. Our parish was excited about hearing that the centennial campaign was happening. However, we weren't so excited about the goal we were given as a pilot parish last summer. You see, on April 16, 2010, our church building burned. The inside of the church had to be gutted. We had to rebuild the church and bring it up to code. We entered the new church at, on Christmas of 2012, and we entered with a significant debt of half a million dollars. When the goal of $445,000 was offered to me by the team that the diocese had brought on board to run the campaign, I was shocked, stunned, and frustrated, to say the least. We were being asked to raise, over five years, as much as we owed, $445,000, our goal, and our debt at the time, $480,000. Well, after processing lots of feelings with my finance council and pastoral council, I was able to share some of my concerns with Father Bill Blanda and the members of the team coordinating the Centennial Campaign. I was encouraged by Father Blanda and others that I spoke to, including the bishop, to trust the process and to trust that they had brought in the very best in the country to help us through this Centennial Campaign. And so we began to trust the process and our attitude began to shift. We, as a pilot parish, were encouraged to go and make personal visits to people in the parish to solicit from them a pledge over five years or a donation that would help us get to our goal of $445,000. Help the bishop attend to his four major concerns, the poor and the disadvantaged, seminarian education and formation, retired priests, and campus ministry at LSUE and UL Lafayette. In the meantime, we were told that we could keep 30% of what we raised until we got to our goal of $445,000. And after we got to our goal, we'd get to keep 50%. Well, quite frankly, I never thought we'd get to our goal. And yet, personal visits happened, a mailing campaign happened, a phone-a-thon happened, and by the time we got to commitment weekend, we were at $351,000. I couldn't believe it. On the other side of commitment weekend, we were at $700,000. And we're currently in the fifth week of Lent at $710,000, which means there's over $260,000 coming back to my parish to be applied to our debt. Our goal is to be debt free by 50. That is to say our parish's 50th anniversary is gonna happen in 2019. If we keep making our monthly payments and we keep reaping the rewards that the Centennial Campaign has blessed us with, we are going to be debt free. And at the beginning of all this, I never thought I'd be able to say that. So, if you find yourself challenged, frustrated, and maybe even a little upset by what's being asked of you, know that when you trust God and trust the process, you too can enjoy some of the success that we've been able to enjoy. I was a doubter, I am now a convert, and I am grateful 
that the Centennial Campaign will bless the diocese and is already blessing the parish of Our Lady Queen of Peace. We have a little saying at Queen of Peace that we embraced after the fire. And I give it to you as you embrace your part of the Centennial Campaign. And it's simply this. I don't know what our future holds, but I know who holds our future. Trust God. Trust the process. And you too will enjoy the success that's promised by the campaign team. They know what they're talking about. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to give me a call. Trust my prayers for you as you embrace your part of our centennial campaign pilgrimage. God bless you.